This is Amy Salinger for TheFashionWalk.com, and we're backstage at Rebecca Taylor with the designer herself. Thank you so much for taking the time to oh, join my us. Pleasure. I'm having a lot of fun. And, and the show hasn't even happened yet, and you no. seem extremely calm. I love that. Well, they're keeping me very busy. You see, I don't really have much time to, to think about what's going to happen. But right when the girls are getting their first looks, and that that's when I'll be like, oh my god, there's tight changes, there's shoe changes, there's buttons. It's a full show, so there's so many layers. It's going to be mental. It's like when circus animals go wild. Yeah. How do you know when the tweaking is finalized and it when never it's ready? Ends. It, you know, the show starts at two, so that's when we have to stop tweaking. But I got people back at the office still this morning. I'm like, no, 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 the trim's not right. Take it off. We're going to do it again. You know, I'm I'm a perfectionist, and sometimes I just need to learn to be like, it's fine. But until two o'clock, scrolls around. I'll just keep on trying to. Obviously, you're doing something right because your name is synonymous with fun, flirty, upbeat clothing. How do you? How important do you think it is to dress for the the image and the mood that you want to project? I think it's important, but um, I, you know, I work a lot, so and I work in the fashion industry. That's why you need champagne. Exactly, <laughs> every day. And so, you know, I've got kids. I got three really small children. Good for you. So it's like I'm always like I'm more like a basic, like striped t-shirt and cargo pants type girl. So we are looking to do, we do think that that's what women want too in their wardrobe as well as the flirty blouses and stuff. So we're looking to expand, expand the collection to more of like a lifestyle collection, more like uh, wash frill coats, we're doing printed t-shirts, we're doing stripes, we're you know, just making it more like you don't have to wear another denim brand to get your Rebecca Taylor on the weekend. So what should we see, what are we going to see as a little preview as the trends coming down the runway for fall from Rebecca Taylor? A lot of uh, pantsuits. Pantsuits um, with really feminine blouses, lots of layering, lots of really warm alpaca sweaters layered over silk, fur bit, fake fur vests over the top. We always do fake fur. A um, little bit of animal in there. It wouldn't be a Rebecca Taylor show without some leopard prints. So it's um, more camels, more olives, more dusty rose colors. So it's very, very pretty and um, cool and, and, and just what you want to wear. Charlotte Gainsbourg is one of my. my uh, what do you call it? Inspiration. And I just love the way she does effortless sort of man, man dressing meets girl dressing. It's just a little, little bit of androgyny. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Good at I'll, I, I have the words in the back of my mind, and I will help you out thank when you, you need it. Well, I am really excited to see the show. Good luck, and thank you so much for chatting thank with me. Thank you. This is Amy Salinger for thefashionwalk.com, and I am backstage at the Rebecca Taylor Show with the head hairstylist. The master behind the look today, Mr. Rudy Lewis. Thank you so much for chatting with us. That's okay. <laughs> so why don't we talk about your talent a little bit and what you're doing as the style today that we're going to see coming down the runway. Okay, basically, um, Rebecca kind of spoke to me a little bit about the type of girl that she imagined in the collection. Uh, so the idea was to give them a hairstyle that looked like they had it done earlier in the week. Been out a few days and you know, slept on it, whatever, and you know, that was the, the result. So basically, what we did was we kind of created like a texture in the hair. We used a Cutler uh, Specialist Volumizing Spray and we used Redken Spray Starch. Yeah. A spray Starch, I've never spray heard of that. Spray Starch is a Redken product. Um, it's a, like a heat styling product. You spray it on and you clamp it with a heat styler, like a flat iron or a curling tong, and it, it locks the texture into the hair. So that, so that when I brush it out, it kind of stays. So there's, there's this kind of fuzzy texture in the hair. Okay. But there's these kind of beautiful waves going on. I think it's because it's it's winter. It's a fall winter show. You know, you want to you want to make it feel like a little autumnal and a little bit outdoors. You know, because a lot of the the, the, the stuff that designers are showing is yeah, so kind of outerwear, yeah. scarves, and nets, and cable nets, and jumpers, and things like that. So I think like really clean, slick hair with those clothes doesn't really always work you know so I'm basically gonna go home throw on some army boots some boyfriend jeans grab a guy's blazer use some grab spray starch well. I already have one of those okay. use some spray <laughs> starch texture it up and fly it away and yeah. I'm gonna be the hottest thing walking down Absolutely. the street come fall of course. I've got it down totally. all right now That's that it. I know you Maybe can go back serious. to work thank you, thank you so much Ladies, first fashion show ever. What did you think? What was the vibe? Was it what you expected? 
Oh, well, I absolutely loved the tights. I think they were definitely the showstopper. Um, but I was a little disappointed by the color scheme. I thought it was a little bland, and um, I was looking for a little more pop. Well, honestly, I was enamored by all the celebrities, <laughs> all the celebrity sightings. I was really excited, and I thought all the, uh, all the clothing was beautiful. We are here with Top Chef and Food and Wine Editor. Is that the correct? Special Project okay, Director. Okay, Special Project Gail. Director. Is there the title? Gail. Gail, thank you so much for joining Hi. us. Thank you for having me. So, we've been having a little conversation. She is an absolute pleasure. See, stars are nice in real life as well as on camera, and that's always good for the audience to know. So, you were just at the Rebecca Taylor Show. What's your initial reaction? How did you like it? I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was absolutely, actually one of the best, most succinct, sort of concise shows I've seen all week. The fabrics, the textures are gorgeous. I loved the tights. Oh, good. I was just about to talk about the tights. I was obsessed with the tights. We all need several oh, pairs of Oh, my tights. gosh. I want a pair in navy, and I want a pair in the kind of like army green. Do you know it's that? Can I give you a behind the scenes yes. secret on the tights? Yes. Kind of scary. I was talking to Rebecca after the show because that's right. I'm a little VIP. Yes. So impressed. And she told me that just to make the tights, they were something like $400 because there's thousands of Swarovski crystals sewn into the tights. So maybe I'm not getting a pair of those they tights don't. for fall. <laughs> I would love to wear sparkly navy tights on Top Chef. Tom Calicchio should wear sparkly navy tights on Top Chef. Maybe we'll get Tom into some tights. I think we can do it. That. Whatever. This is Amy Salinger with TheFashionWalk.com and we're backstage at Rebecca Taylor with Carmen Electra. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I have to tell you, the first thing I noticed is you have on my favorite thing in the show, the sparkly tights. I am the first person that noticed. What? The first? Are you serious? It's, I literally was like, oh my god, she has on the tights. That was, a, we were sit, all sitting together and we were, uh, all the girls, we were all obsessing over the tights, so. I didn't talk about anything else. I, I, I asked, I begged, please, I want the tights, I have to have the tights, and so I feel like a very lucky girl because I got right off the runway. You are the princess and the hostess of the party, so if anyone deserves to wear the tights. Besides the sparkly tights, was there anything that was your favorite that came down the runway? I really just loved how she put on, there were so many layers to everything. Um, you know, her feminine touch, the, her cute dresses and ruffles and then a sweater with a jacket over the top and I just thought it was so cool, you know, just really comfortable yet wearable. Wearable, comfortable yet had a sparkle and, and a shine. And well, we both know that the first thing we're going to go for is the sparkly tights and you already own them. So maybe we can borrow them or I can get my own pair. Thank you so much, Carmen. Have a great, yeah, I have the end now for the sparkly tights with Carmen Electra. Thanks so much.